hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rebel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the gauss jordan method in the subject of m1 uh, so basically in my previous videos i explained you how to find the rank of a matrix how to find the rank using echelon form normal form and with different example problems if you have not watched that video yet uh, i suggest you to watch those videos and uh, yeah now let us get into the video like what is gauss jordan method and what can we do with the help of this gauss jordan method i'll tell you basically by using gauss jordan method you can uh, solve two types of questions okay first one is finding the inverse of a matrix you know how to find out the inverse of a matrix how adjoint a by det a right so what is the formula to find inverse adjoint a by det a but in some situations you will be asked to find out the rank of a matrix by using gauss jordan method or sometimes they will ask you to find the uh, sorry inverse sorry inverse not rank uh, find the inverse using some elementary transformations okay so it is not like every time you have to use this formula only okay so if in, if at all in the question they are asking you to solve or to find out the inverse using some elementary operations then you can go with this gauss jordan method and along with finding inverse you can also solve system of equations by using this method what do you mean by solving system of equations finding the values of x y z you will be given three equations and three unknowns will be given you have to find out the unknown values for that also i'll give you one example problem in order to solve system of equations we have many methods so for all those we will be seeing some example questions now let us see how to solve this type of question that is finding the inverse of the matrix using gauss jordan method this matrix is given to us uh, so basically what you have to do is the first step is to identify the order of this matrix what is the order of this matrix it's three right it's a three by three matrix so the order is a order is three now you have to write a identity matrix which is of third order okay so how it goes on is first write the matrix as it is 1 1 3 1 3 1 4 and 5 okay write this matrix as it is now beside this you have to write a identity matrix of order 3 since this matrix is of order 3 you have to write a matrix of identity matrix of order 3 only okay that is you will get something like 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 okay you have written the identity matrix you have your dash or you know colons or whatever you want whatever is comfortable you can use that next now what we have to do is we should make this matrix the matrix which is on the left side we should make this matrix as a identity matrix okay when we are making this as identity matrix we will be applying some row or column transformation sorry row transformations only so we will be applying some row operations right so the same row operations should be applied to this this identity matrix also okay once you apply the same operations to this matrix whatever the resultant matrix you are getting that is the a inverse so i'll explain you don't get don't worry i'll explain you so first in order to make this one as identity matrix what all should be made zeros 0 0 0 0 0 0 right and this should be one this should be one this should be one you have identified that so this is already one we need not do anything now now our next step is to make these two things as zero so in order to make these two as zero what you can do r1 minus r2 r2 minus r1 you can do 1 minus 1 direct to zero okay done so in order to make this one as zero what you can do it is negative right so if you add 2 minus 2 plus 2 will become zero how can you add 2 2 into r1 okay so let us do that so you will get you the operation will become r2 becomes r2 minus r1 and r3 will become r3 plus 2 r1 okay now let us apply so the first will be same 1 1 3 and 1 0 0 this side next step r2 minus r1 right 1 minus 1 0 3 minus 1 
टू माइनस थ्री माइनस ऑफ थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री सो इट इज माइनस सिक्स ओके नेक्स्ट द सेम शुड बी अप्लाइड टू दिस वन ऑल्सो जीरो माइनस वन यू विल गेट माइनस वन वन माइनस जीरो वन जीरो माइनस जीरो जीरो ओके नेक्स्ट आर थ्री प्लस टू आर वन राइट आर थ्री प्लस टू आर वन इज नथिंग बट माइनस टू प्लस टू इंटू वन सो इट इज जीरो नेक्स्ट माइनस फोर प्लस टू इंटू वन माइनस फोर प्लस टू माइनस टू यू विल गेट हियर नेक्स्ट हियर माइनस फोर प्लस टू इंटू थ्री माइनस फोर प्लस सिक्स विच इज प्लस टू ओके नेक्स्ट आर थ्री प्लस टू आर वन आर थ्री इज जीरो प्लस टू आर वन इज जीरो प्लस टू सो हियर यू विल गेट टू नेक्स्ट आर थ्री प्लस टू आर वन बोथ आर जीरो सो ऑब्वियसली जीरो आर थ्री प्लस टू आर वन वन प्लस टू इंटू जीरो इज जीरो सो यूल गेट वन हियर ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट आफ्टर डूइंग द फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन वी गॉट दिस नाउ योर सेकेंड स्टेप वुड बी सो इन सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट शेल वी डू नाउ लेट्स डू हाफ आर टू एंड हाफ आर थ्री ओके सो वॉट यू विल गेट आर टू विल बिकम आर टू बाई टू आर थ्री विल बिकम आर थ्री बाई टू ओके सो द फर्स्ट वन विल बी एज इट इज एंड सेकेंड जीरो वन माइनस थ्री नेक्स्ट माइनस वन बाई टू वन बाई टू जीरो नेक्स्ट दिस वन जीरो माइनस वन वन एंड टू बाई टू विल बिकम वन and this is 0 by 2 is 0 and 1 by 2 okay now in the next step what shall we do so in the next step let's do like we got these two elements as zeros right now ne our next target is to make this one as zero in order to make this one as zero what you can do 1 minus 1 you'll get zero 1 minus 1 is nothing but r1 minus r2 so r1 will become r1 minus r2 and what else should be made zero this one also in this column this one also should be made zero right this is minus 1 this has to be one only according to identity matrix so minus 1 plus 1 will give you zero so r3 will become r3 plus r2 don't do that operation with r1 because r1 it is becoming zero here right so do it with r2 only which is not changing with that only you have to do the operation okay now what this matrix will become r1 is r1 minus r2 One minus zero, you will get one same. One minus one, zero. Three minus of minus three, it will become three plus three, six. You will get next. R two is not changing. Okay, let us make uh, the same. You know, to this also. So R one minus R two, right? R one minus R two, one minus of minus one by two. What you will get? One plus one by two, which is nothing but three by two. Next. R one minus R two zero minus one by two you will get minus one by two okay next zero minus zero zero you will get next done R two is as it is so let us write R two as it is zero one minus three minus one by two one by two zero okay next this one R three plus R two we are doing right zero plus zero zero only you will get minus one plus one zero minus three Plus one minus two. Now minus one by two plus one. You will get plus one by two. One minus half. You will get half only, right? So one by two plus zero is one by two. Zero plus one by two is again one by two. Okay, one by two, one by two, one by two. Yeah, done. This is correct only. Next, our next. Oh, sorry. If you are not able to see now, I guess you can see. So yeah. So now what else we have to do? See in this matrix, what else we have to do? This should become zero. This should become zero, and this thing has to become one, right? So how to do that? Let us see. Uh, for first, first what we will do is so we have to make operations on all the three. We should make on R one, R two, R three because changes we have to make to all the three, right? So first, let us see what we can do for R one. For R one, what you can do is R one plus three R three. Why? What is R three? It's minus two. Minus two into three, you will get minus six. Minus six plus six, zero. So this will become zero. Done. Next, R two. So for R two, what you can do is minus three minus two 
uh, don't have anything common right don't have anything in common like uh, minus 3 into if you multiply anything you'll not get 2 2 into anything you'll not get uh, 3 so let us use fractions here fractions in the sense it becomes r2 minus 3 by 2 r3 okay next r3 so for r3 you don't have anything here you cannot make any changes these two also will become zeros only so what you can do is minus 1 by 2 into r3 you can do so minus 2 by 2 you, you it will get cancel and uh, minus into minus plus 1 okay don't worry i'll do the operation so that you'll understand r1 plus 3 r3 right first thing so r1 will become r1 plus 3 r3 so what is r1 1 plus 3 r3 is nothing but 3 into 0 1 only next 0 plus anything into 0 again 0 so 0 next 6 6 plus minus 2 into 3 6 minus 6 0 done same operation let us do for this also r1 plus 3 r3 right 3 by 2 plus so 3 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 it is 6 by 2 6 by 2 is nothing but what 3 so you will get 3 here okay. next minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 it is nothing but you will get 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 which is 2 by 2 1 next 0 plus 3 into r3 which is nothing but 0 plus 3 by 2 it is 3 by 2 again next what is the next operation r2 will become r2 minus 3 by 2 r3 right so this 0 will be 0 as it is only and 1 minus anything 3 by 2 into 0 also you will get 0 only so 1 minus 0 you will get 1 next r2 minus 3 by 2 r3 right r2 is what minus 3 minus 3 by 2 into r3 is minus 2 2 2 cancel minus 3 minus into minus you will get plus plus 3 0 okay now this one r2 minus 3 by 2 r3 right so let us do this so that we can do the rough here mm. r2 is minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 into r3 is 1 by 2 so you will get minus 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 so what you will get if you take LCM you get 4 so minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 by 4 you will get yes so minus 5 by 4 next r2 minus 3 r3 so same 1 by 2 minus 3 into 1 by 2 so you will get no no 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 right 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 what you will get minus 1 by 4 you will get okay mm, done correct next 0 minus 3 by 2 into r3 0 minus 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 3 by 4 so you can write it as it is okay next this one minus 1 by 2 into r3 we are doing right 0 by anything you will get 0 0 and here see minus 2 into minus 1 by 2 cancel so minus into minus plus so you will get what here 1 identity matrix done set next here see simple you have to divide it with minus 2 okay so why 1 by 2 will become 1 by 2 by minus 2 so it is nothing but 1 by 2 into 1 by minus 2 which is nothing but minus 1 by 4 so same these two also 1 by 2 only right okay so this is what we got after doing the row operations so you can stop the process now why because you got a identity matrix here see identity matrix i3 you got here right so initially this was the identity matrix right now you got identity matrix on this side initially left side was identity matrix now you got the identity matrix on the right side so now you can stop the process and whatever matrix you got here that is the a inverse so now what is the a inverse a inverse is equal to 3 1 3 by 2 minus 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 this is the 
identity sorry inverse matrix of the given matrix by using gauss jordan method if you want you can also check by using dette by sorry adjoint a by dette okay so this is all about this video guys i hope uh, this is clear in the next video in the i'll next video i'll explain you other problem same gauss jordan method only i'll explain you one more problem uh, which is more bigger like you'll have 4 by 4 matrix so that you'll get more better idea and guys one more thing just do not watch the video make sure that you will also practice along with me okay so that's all if you just watch the video you will miss the flow definitely and you will forget also in the exam so thanks for watching the video till the end if you are still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more and more videos